well, when we pick up in season two, Corey has been through some shit, and then he's about to he's about to like bounce back big time. Um, we find out what happened and how he like got back in the saddle. Oh yes, yes. It, uh, in the first episode, it's only alluded to it that there potentially was some um, behind the scenes maneuvering that uh, led Corey to his current place of power. And over the course of the season, we begin to understand the details behind that uh, that uh, uh, operation. And I think like most things that the morning show attempts to explore, there's a lot of gray area in there uh, with somebody who uh, appears to be trying to do something good in uh, humanity's march towards progress. Uh, he may have had to cut some corners, friends with the enemy. Uh, I, I'm sure he's in desperate need of a um, metaphorical shower afterwards. <laughs> I mean, he seems like a good, like solid dude and wants to make good change and comes from a good place. But like, also it seems when he gets the big job, he's not able to necessarily do everything that he might want to do. Or he quickly finds out that, like maybe the things he wanted, wants to do don't, pay the bills like how do you well, think I he think, sort of rectifies that it's a great a question i i think one of the challenges we're confronting socially is the things that we're uh, demanding be changed and altered as to more closely align with the things that have been promised um they haven't changed because they're really hard to change. The gravity and the inertia behind the status quo is so significant that it rarely changes or even alters slightly during one's lifetime. They're usually generational, century-long uh, efforts. And because we live in a world where people get instant gratification through social media and the internet, we have this assumption that if we have an enlightened internet, and we should have an enlightened corporate structure when, in fact, it takes an enormous amount of effort over lifetimes to really get the kind of significant change that we're demanding now. And I think what you see in Corey is somebody who is facing that uh, on the ground. He is in the boardroom meeting with the established power and watching them immobilized and entrenched in their uh, their seats of power. I, it, it is no small feat that we're all undertaking, disrupting this. Um, and I think Corey is confronting the very real possibility that it may not happen in his lifetime. And if he did it, if he just like came in, swept the slate clean, did it, everyone would say, that's bullshit. He didn't do it the right way, blah, blah, blah. You know, so. <laughs> oh, can't... sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there would be critics. Uh, I, well, listen, there, will, there are... Uh, almost as many critics for uh, maintaining the status quo as there are for upending the status quo, um, most of whom are a part of the status quo. So you can rest assured that n nobody is giving up their power without, uh, at the very least, an argument. 